Hi, how are you all? You might have seen the last video where we discussed that what is the benefit of using single fixed pulley and single movable pulley. That is very important. If you have missed that video, the link is there in the description box. You must check out that. Okay. And here, achha, first of all, let me recall that uh, there we discuss single fixed pulley which changes the direction of the force. Okay. And we use single movable pulley. And in single movable pulley, we saw that if you are applying a force 5 Newton and you are getting a 10 Newton force, means double. Okay, you are, if you are applying 10 Newton force, you will get 20 Newton force, double. Here in this video, we will combine some single movable pulleys because in one pulley makes the force double. So instead of using one movable pulley, if I use four movable pulleys or five movable pulleys or six movable pulleys, can you imagine how much the benefit will multiply? Understood? That will be more benefited. A single movable pulley makes the force double. Means you are applying a force 2 Newton, but instead you are getting 4 Newton double. So now we will see, we will connect more single movable pulleys to get, get more force, no more benefit. Okay, let us discuss that. Here we are going to connect 4 movable pulleys. Okay, one movable pulley makes the force double. Now, if I connect four movable pulleys, how the force will be multiplied? How much the force will be increased? We'll see that. See, first of all, what we are doing, this is the resist support. Okay, here is a pulley. I will show you how the pulleys will be arranged. As I told you, I will use four pulleys. Okay, how the pulleys will be arranged, I'll show you first. After that, I'll show you how to connect those pulleys. See, first, this is the pulley. Say, this is uh, uh, another pulley. This is another pulley. This is another pulley. So, I have taken four pulleys. Okay, see, how I'll connect them. First of all, This will go and will connect to the yes, center of other pulley. Okay. Now another rope is coming. That will go and it will connect to the center of another pulley. Understood? Here it is coming. Rope. It is connecting with the center of another pulley. Okay. From here another rope is coming. That is going best. So this is the place where I will use the effort. I will pull it. I'll pull it means I will apply the effort here. Okay. So you see all the centers are connected with the ropes. All the centers are connected with the ropes except this one. So here with the center I will connect the load. This is the load, say bucket or whatever. This is the load. Okay. Now, see this. This load is connected with this two. How? If you cut from here, if you cut from here, this portion, the load will fall down. Or if you cut from here, from here, the load will fall down. Okay. If you connect, cut from here, the load will fall. If you cut from here, the load will fall. Okay. So I can say that this load is connected or load is depending on both the tensions. Both the tensions. Okay. So first tension is this way. The second tension is this way. So this is T1. This is also T1. So I can say that load equal to 2T1 because load is connected in 2T1. It is depending on 2T1. T means tension of the rope. Tension of the rope which we discussed in the first part where we discussed single fixed pulley and single movable pulley. Okay. Now this tension 
this tension is connected with both these tensions this is another tension this is another tension okay and this tension is connected with both these tensions so i can say that if this tension is t2 this is also t2 and this t1 equal to 2t2 so t1 equal to 2t2 okay now this t2 is connected with both these tensions this is t3 this is t3 okay so i can say that t2 equal to 2t3 t2 equal to 2t3 got it now this t3 is connected with this two tension t4 t4 so i can say that t3 equal to 2t4 okay 2t4 fine now i will take out the mechanical advantage what is the mechanical advantage here mechanical advantage equal to load by effort what is the load and what is the effort see effort is just t4 see effort is just t4 t4 is going this direction effort is also going this direction means effort equal to t4 so instead of effort i will write t4 and what is load load is 2t1 2t1 okay now what is t1 2t2 t1 means 2t2 now t2 means 2t3 t2 means 2t3 okay t3 means t3 means 2t4 t3 means 2t4 okay so what we are getting to do the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 t4 by t4 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 cancel that is 16 so mechanical advantage is 16 okay so that means what you know that means you are applying a force of 2 newton but instead you will get 2 into 16 32 newton you will get 32 newton 16 times okay if you are applying a force of 1 newton instead you are getting 16 newton force okay so in this way too you can easily you, you can easily lift a car okay if i ask you that uh, that the car is there go and lift it up okay that is a very tough task we can't but using this arrangement easily you can do that okay if you are applying a force of 10 newton okay 10 newton then 10 into 16 that is 160 newton you will get so easily you can take out that car lift that car okay so now just you can imagine that if i increase the number of pulleys how the things will get higher okay so using of this system is very benefited okay so here mechanical advantage is 16 now here one thing i will tell you that uh, if you if you displace the effort by 16 centimeter okay if you displace the effort by 16 centimeter this is effort here the effort is now you are taking the effort here and this much is 16 centimeter if you take the effort 16 centimeter up you will see that the load will go 1 centimeter up okay just 1 centimeter if it is 16 centimeter it will be 1 centimeter that means that means if the displacement of effort displacement of effort is 16x then displacement of load will be only x okay displacement of load is x and displacement of effort is 16x okay so what is the velocity ratio velocity ratio is equal to displacement of effort by displacement of load displacement of effort is 16x and displacement of load is x x x cancel that is 16 okay so what is the efficiency efficiency equal to 
मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज बाय वेलोसिटी रेशियो इन टू हंड्रेड सो सिक्सटीन बाई सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन बाई सिक्सटीन इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन कैंसल दैट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके हंड्रेड परसेंट नाउ इफ यू हैव वॉच द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ पुली वेर वी डिस्कस सिंगल फिक्सड पुली एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट इन सिंगल फिक्सड पुली वाई वी यूज ए सिंगल फिक्सड पुली बिकॉज इट इज इजियर टू अप्लाई द फोर्स डाउनवर्ड्स ओके इट इज टफ फॉर आस टू अप्लाई द फोर्स अपवर्ड ओके इट्स इजियर टू अप्लाई द फोर्स डाउनवर्ड सो दैट्स वाई बट हियर सी वी आर अप्लाइंग द फोर्स अपवर्ड टू मेक इट इजियर हियर विल कनेक्ट वन ये सिंगल फिक्सड पुली हाउ आई विल शो यू दैट जस्ट मिनट what we are doing we will connect one single fixed pulley okay and we will take this rope this way see now now we can apply the force downward apply the force downward to take it up okay so here we have connected a single fixed pulley and remember this single fixed pulley will not disturb any calculation of this any calculation of this because a single fixed pulley is just used to change the direction instead of making it up you are changing the direction downwards okay so this is the combination of some single movable pulley hope you understood this arrangement if you have got any doubt just rewatch the video from beginning you will understand that okay and for any doubt just place your question in the comment section i will reply that okay thank you all